Hey guys, Trev Wilson here. I'm the Bourbon Wrench. We're back with another bourbon battle. But this time it's something a little different. And it's barrel proof bourbons that are less than 120 proof. This is low barrel proof, barrel proof bourbon battle. Okay, I found four bourbons in my collection. I realized that they were all pretty low proof, all things considering. Asterisk next to the 1915 because I know it's not barrel proof, but guess what? I only had three that were under 120 and 1920 is just a staple. So I feel like it should be able to compete with these dudes, okay? What we're doing, took these four and we're blinding them up. I'm gonna drink through them. We're gonna see which one comes out on top, baby. So what we're dealing with today is Bell Mead cask strength. 56.8%. We got Smoke Wagon, Uncut Unfiltered, 58.01%. We got Old Forester 1920, Asterix, at 115 proof. And then we have Rare Breed, Barrel Proof, 116.8. So they're all in the same wheelhouse between 113 and 116. I think this should be interesting. I've honestly never even thought about drinking these side by side. I This was just something that just sparked in my head. So it'll be interesting seeing how these drink, you know, next to each other. So future Trev here, just letting you know. Be sure to check out Into the AM. Hit the links in the description. Helps me by letting them know, hey, friggin' love this guy. Helps them by growing a customer. And it helps you by rewarding your skin. Dressing it in such soft, beautiful materials. Check out the links in the description, guys. They're running a giveaway right now. You have until March 9th to get entered. Hit the link, take you on over there. Massive, massive giveaway. Hit the links in the description. Let's get back into the video. Ooh, yeah, starting off good. All these are gonna be good. This, I win, no matter what. Doesn't matter which of these win, I win, because they're all gonna be delicious, I feel like. I hate saying it. I'm just kidding, I love saying it. it's Banana Foster, baby. Bananas. On the nose. But it's very, very cinnamon, very brown sugar, real sweet. It's like a dessert, like a, you know, a toasted banana dessert. Oh, it's so good. Let's get on, let's get into the palate. I'll be honest, I don't really get the banana like I did on the nose, but a lot of vanilla. A lot of sweetness on that. Um, nothing too crazy. That seems like um, seems like a good baseline to go through them. And maybe I'll go back to that when I'm just warming up the palate, baby. So let's get on to B. You know, A is just a baseline. Let's let's we'll come we'll come back through them. So, huh? There's like a I don't know if that's molasses or like a tobacco leaf that I'm getting on this. I'm not too familiar with either of those things, but there's something going on with this one. It's an interesting nose. It's totally, totally different than this one. This one was so desserty sweet. This is this one's drastically different to me. Let's get into the palate. Really sweet though on the on the palate. It's almost like a like a grapey type jam or really sweet. Some kind of preservative. So maybe dark dark cherries or something. Going back to the nose to see if that translate, it doesn't. It's the nose is one way, and then the palate was kind of very sweet preservatives. This cherry type, it's like mashed cherries into a jam or something. Yeah, the nose is like tobacco, a little bit of char going on. D was not indicating that this was going to be that level of sweet on the palate. So far, A and B are totally different from each other. Um, we'll just have to go back through later. Let's get on to C. Ooh, this one this smells like a Rick House. Deep, rich stuff in this glass. It's like, um, you know you always hear me talk about this nutty thing. It's got that, but it's not like that cheap, you know, Heaven Hill Jim Beam nut on that stuff. You know I hate that. This is like a roasted nut. Kind of funky. It's kind of, like I said, it smells like you're like going into the Rick house and you're just smelling. You just take a big old whiff. Get right here. 
here you go. Let's get into the palette. That one's just so deep. That is very rich. The others, I don't know, when you're drinking it, they just seem lighter, if that makes sense. It's like, they've all been pretty mouth coating. I'm not talking about the viscosity or anything, but just, I mean, it's just deep and rich and dark, musty, but in a good way, peanutty. Yeah, that is, this is really good. Not a whole lot of sweetness there. I mean, it's, it's a decent amount of cinnamon and vanilla and it's, it's, it's spicy. It's like, I would, I would venture to say this one's high rye content, especially compared to those two. Maybe that's what's giving me some of that deeper flavors, that it's just, it's a little more bold, I guess. For some reason, B drink a lot hotter than this, but they, you know, they're all around the same proof, so maybe that B is just, that's an indicator that maybe it's something younger, just a little spikier, I don't know. But this one just is so cohesive. It seems, it seems older. It seems like it's been aging and just kind of mellowing out in that barrel. So, so far that one's, that one's, that one's doing really good. Okay, wow. So, D just jumps out this butterscotchy vanilla type thing coming out of it. It's almost like a, you kind of blended some of these other ones. You just kind of took, took different parts of them and were like, I'm gonna make my own thing. Let's see if that translates over onto the palate. Typically, I, the ones that I find are absolutely delicious on the nose tend to not be on the palate. Maybe my nose is broken. That one drinks different than the other ones. Um, there's something going on. I don't know if it's age. So that's just, it's like bright apple, some kind of fruity or citrus note going on. It's, it's just very bright. It's very fresh to me. Which is weird compared to the other ones. They're just, these all are so different. So I'm just gonna have to go side by side certain ones and kind of start eliminating. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna eliminate things. Um, we're gonna do this round a little different. I'm just gonna kind of go through, pick up two glasses and kind of see what I think. So let's do A and B. That's a deep caramel on there now. And I love, that's why I love coming back through them because smelling them side by side with other ones, just you pick up things different or it might bring out notes in a different way, so. That's like a deep caramel. That's actually better the second time through. On the nose, A beats B. So let's see on the palate. Again, the nose on that one actually translate through the palate. It's very sweet. It's delicious. That vanilla comes through. Side by side, A has the lead to B. So what we'll do now, we'll take on, let's take the winner from C and D, and those winners will face off, and then the losers will face off. That's how we'll do it. Yeah, C, that nose is just so it's so rich. It's I'm telling you, it's like walking into a Rick house. That's the best way to explain it. If you ever walked into one and you just smell, you just smell all that aging. Oh, it's so good. I, you can't explain it. You just know. You just know. Yeah, side by side, C just makes D smell young. I mean, it's so bright. And it just makes me feel like it has not spent as much romantic, sweet, amazing time with that barrel. All right, with that being said, so C's moving on to the winner's bracket. D's moving on to the loser's bracket. So let's do the losers first. Let's, let's get the losers out of the way. So we're going between B and D. Honestly, I don't know if this is just because I'm drinking it right off the heels of other ones, but it seems like B is honestly just getting worse Every time I drink it, it's changing in a way I don't like. In the beginning, that jam and I was getting, you know, the preservatives and the cherry and it was delicious. But now all of that's kind of disappearing. I don't know, doesn't hold up well to other ones, but it's kind of going down the tank for me. Yeah, D still has this apple, 
citrus, like a cinnamon apple, a caramel apple with cinnamon on it at the fair and you're having fun. Yeah, D, D beats B. So I think B's in last. And it honestly, like, like I said, I feel like if I had a bottle of B and then I wasn't drinking it off the heels of these other dudes, totally fine. It's actually really good. Man, that is hard. That is difficult. I urge all of you to try this, to see what you think. It almost just depends on what mood I'm in because A is so, it's so much sweeter compared to C. C is a spicy gal, like I said, deep and rich and you know, a little dusty, a little barely, a little woody. And A is kind of more your cinnamons, vanilla, sweetness you know a little bit of cherry a little bit of banana I got some banana on the nose but not on the palate but it was desserty okay yeah a is just so caramel vanilla sweetness goodness oh yeah let's see man I don't know how I'm gonna pick between those two to be honest it was so much easier between these dudes whatever these two are that's how you do it that's that's how you make good Whiskey, and granted, these all are good, but to make something so good that I just, I just wanna be like, yup, they both win, you know? That just has every, both of them have everything that I want in a whiskey, so. Really depends on my mood. And I guess my mood tonight probably is this sweet mood, so I'm gonna pick A and then C, so. Just on a whim, just that's what I'm feeling tonight, because honestly, they're both, they're both top notch, so. Let's find out the results. So last place was B. B was Bellmead cask strength. And there you go. It was very, at the front, the first pass through, it was, the sweetness was almost hard to beat. I love that jam, that cherry cordial type thing going on. After drinking and after the other ones, it just kind of lost all that, so. Then D is third. D goes to Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Um, I don't know what the age of those are, but it had this, that, and I attribute maybe is a little bit younger, just that bright apple and citrus. Again, compared to these two, that's, that's always the kicker. Compared to these two, it's just, it's not at the level. I'm pretty sure both of these are MGP. So, it was the battle of the MGP in the last places, so. Maybe I'm just not an MGP guy, so. That leaves second place is uh, C, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Uh, th and that leaves A, the winner, Old Forester 1915, which is the only non-barrel proof, but it's in the wheelhouse, we're counting it. Wild Turkey is always been, that Rare Breed has always been one of my top favorite bottles, period. And it is, like I was saying, it's, this has really been just a toss up of what I'm feeling that night. They were both so good. Especially drinking them side by side, I just, I almost just wanted to say they both win. Rare Breed's cheaper, so if that's a contributing factor, go buy one of those. That being said, that's it. There's the, um, the battle of the lower proof barrel proof. So, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know below what it, if you've had these, what's your favorite? What do you think about all of these? Um, what would your order be? Try it yourself. I always recommend it, guys. Take this with a grain of salt. Try it yourself, see what your palate agrees with, see what you enjoy, so hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you want more, hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss, if you want to see my live streams all that, hit the bell notification. You, you want to support me more? Check it out below, I got a Patreon page. Awesome rewards going on over there. I got merch down below. I got all that stuff. Hit the, check the links below, man. Uh, and until next time, guys, take it easy. Stay safe out there. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Patreons. Have I told you lately how much I love you? Sure I have, because you're freaking amazing! And I've been drinking Barrel Proof all night. And you know what that means? I get a little frisky. And I just get a little, I get a little lovey. And there's no one more on this planet that I love more than all of you. Here's a blend, a blendy blend, a behind the scenes blend for all of the Patreons who stick around and watch this. I'm drinking all four of those dudes. All four of them. Ooh, it smells like barrel proof bourbon.
and it tastes like barrel proof bourbon. That's so good. About as good as all of you are to me.